which corrected us and we gave them reverence. You know, I don't know about a lot of people, but I had my father and my father was a was a a real man. My father wasn't no, you know, uh, um you know, joke around with you type of guy. My father is the type of father that will bust your lip. If you, if you, if you, if you think that you're going to talk funny, if you think that you're going to huff and puff and do all this cute shit that people are doing out here. I had a father that would knock you out a fucking window. Mm. Drag you back in the house and beat your ass with a belt. You know, we all feared our father, you know, my, me and my brother, you know, me and my brothers, my sister, we all feared our father, man, coming up. But, you know, we was blessed to have our father in our life, mm-hmm. you know. So how much more the heavenly father? You know. Shalom. Call hello. Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Your name is only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp. Down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to uh, land back on this video that the elder um, Demasha Pot did. Beautiful video, man. He's going into the you know, lively stones. Edifying video. I shared it uh, on, on my channel. I advise you to go watch it. But I want to touch on something he said right here about having a father, man. And, um, you know, you see what's going on in the world nowadays with a bunch of wicked, rebellious, evil niggas. You know, that really, you know, that they didn't have their father in their life and they, or they may have had a father, but he didn't, you know, he was weak or, 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 or soft, you know, and that's why it's important to have, you know, structure in the household and to have a father, you know, and I tell um, um my son, you know, uh, you know, some I tell him, which he, you know, you know, you, you know, he's still young, but as he get older, he, he'll learn to understand and appreciate it more. But I'll tell him, hey, man, you got people out here that look just like you that, that don't know who their father is you know but you got a father that love and uh and and you know care about you and with that he I, i'm going to chastise and correct you and that's what my father did unto me you know and i told uh the elder dr my i said your pa and that's the spirit my father was the same way one time he actually threw me through a window all because i huffed at him i huffed against him and basically what happened was we was you know we was playing you know, he, we, we, we was playing in the room and, uh, you know, I really didn't want to play, but, but, but he but, but he wanted to play. And, um, you know, I guess, you know, I, I being that I didn't want to play. I like, you know, I was like, I kind of like, you know, I don't I, I guess I, I did huff at him a little bit, you know, in my breath or whatever. And he got fucking infuriated, bro. He literally threw me across the room, went, 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 walked across the room, picked me up and threw my ass through the window. All I know is I woke up in the bushes in the front yard, man. OK, and I'll never f- f- forget that. But, you know, and, and though it seemed rough, some people call that abuse, but that was to chastity, man. And that made it where I, 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 I held on to certain principles. My father was very active in my life when I was a young man, you know, and my father, you know, he's in the st- he was in the streets. Now he's in prison, you know, but 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 he was in this because because he was in the streets, man. You know, so he was a very, um, you know, a very uh, stern man. You know, now he would joke and he would play from time to time but you know he he was not to be played with and we all knew that you know we all feared uh 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 feared our father and that's important for you to be to to to, to be a man you know you gotta you, you gotta have some type of structure you gotta understand you know um and fear your father and that's how we supposed to do towards the heavenly father man okay so i'm gonna grab the scripture right here all right well, well let me grab this first because I was beautiful when he said that because it, it, it reminded me, man, like I said, this is why you got in this world. You got a lot of people that's just uh, unthankful, ungrateful, evil, you know, um, um, rebellious. OK, demonic because your father wasn't 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 in your life or or, or, or or you didn't have a true father, you know, to instill discipline into you. And I tell my son all the time, hey, man, you know, well, that's the point. That's the point of having a father. You know, and he, he, even when you when you got a woman and, and, and uh and a child, you know, I mean, when you got a father and, and a mother in the house, you know, the mother's more soft, you know, and, and, and my son, listen, my son is one years old and he do certain shit to, you know, to my to my wife that he know damn well he couldn't do with me. He wouldn't do it now if I was there. And it's to the point now where if I give him a look, if I give him a look, he'll stop. He'll be crying, whining. And I, 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 I give him a look. I just look. I ain't got to make a crazy look. I just look at him. And he'll stop on, on a dime. OK, that's how important it is to have a father 
in the household. And a lot of our, 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 our people, unfortunately, they were raised without their fathers, you know, or, or didn't have real fathers, you know, and, 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 and that plays a toll on, on your character growing up, man. All right. So Proverbs 13 verse. um Verse, I'll get right to the point. Um, 24 it says, He that spareth his rod hateth his son. So if you don't chastise your children, and people say that in this world, you're not supposed to whoop your kids, that's slavery. No, nigga. You better beat their ass or they're going to fucking be out here beating, beating on your ass or beating somebody else's ass or the cops going to be beating on, on, on their ass. You know? Why you see niggas get police brutalized because they don't understand order, they don't understand structure, they, 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 they have a problem with authority. There's a lot of people in Israel that have a problem with authority, man. Okay, because your father was a fucking punk, and now he done made you into a fucking punk, and now you walk around here acting like you're damn beating on your chest like you're tough, just somebody punching your shit. Hey, my father, bro, he would punch me in my shit if I ever even thought about, you know, bucking up against him and looking crazy, man. And, and I'm, I'm grateful for that, okay? That's why it's important to have a father in your house. And, and this guy, Andrew Tate, talks about his father a lot, too. You know how his father was, how his father would push him down and say, get up, son. And his mother was like, don't do that, don't do that. He said, hey, what, hey that's life. Life will push you down. You got to get the fuck back up. Be a man. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that lo that loveth him chasteneth him be time. So you got to chastise your son. You got to, you know, correct him. You know, that's a part of of, 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 of being a father. Uh, and it's also a part of being a man. You're supposed to bring correction. You're supposed to uh, 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 put things in, in, in its proper order. Okay. Hebrews chapter 12. This is what the, el the elder uh, was reading. It says he uh, Hebrews chapter twelve and I'll, and I'll start at verse um, six. It says, "For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth." So you 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 uh, let me go up verse five. And ye have forgotten the exhortation uh, which speaketh unto you as un, unto children, my son, despise thou despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him and that's what you know jake do they they, they get chastened they get rebuked and they're gonna hold a grudge against you fucking forever bro and they're gonna feel the type of way instead of just being a man about it and correcting it and also too you got that black woman spirit on, on jake where they can't they, they, no accountability you know you, you tell them so you see it bro you do you, you, you ever dealt with women that you see it they, they they take no accountability okay you tell them some oh i did i it, you know it's like what the fuck are you talking about are you literally you know take accountability own up to your shit it says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Okay, so if the Lord, you know, he's going he to chastise you, he's going to scourge you. It says, if ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as, dealeth, dealeth with you, dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? Right, if your father don't chastise you, then that's not a father. Okay, and it's going to lead you to be, be, be destroyed, man. Okay, bring shame to, to the family. You can talk about uh, spare the rod. I already grabbed that. Um, let me find. I'll see if I can grab, grab, grab the other one. But it says, um, who, who the father chasteth not, verse eight. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, we all got to be chastised. Then are ye bastards and not sons, right? So if you're not getting chastised, then you're a bastard, man. You know? And if you can't take that chastisement, then you're a fucking nigga. It says, moreover, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, right? And my son, I see it too in him. He's, my son's one years old, bro. You know, this, no, I only have one, one child, but he's one, one years old. And when I correct him, and when I, or when I, you know, he cry. But then he'll come up and he'll, you know, like one, one time I I, 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 I had to correct, correct him about some shit. And then, you know, five minutes later, he came up and he, was, he gave me a hug and was all up, you know, all up under me and wanting to be all up under me and shit. So, you know, he, he gave me reverence because really, hey, that's love. Correction is love. Scripture says open rebuke is better than secret love. It says we shall not much, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live right so you got to be in subjection unto the heavenly father if you want to live okay no different we had to be in subjection and, and take correction from our fathers if we want to live your father told you not to play in the road it was for it, it was it was for a, a a reason okay don't play in the street you know if he caught you playing the street he'll tear your ass up you know he'll tell you don't, don't don't play play outside after them lights go off you know the reason why he would do that so that you so to, to protect you 
You know, you got motherfuckers getting kidnapped nowadays. Kids getting kidnapped. You know, you got people getting hit by cars and stuff, man. You know, so so that that, that correction was for your protection. Okay. It says um. For they verily, for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Right. It says now no chastening for the present present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, uh, afterwards, so I can go back into the plantation. Bear with me, gonna be a little loud. I'm gonna grab some. More, grab, grab, I'm gonna see if I can grab that, that last precept. It says um. Seemed to be joyous but grievous. Nevertheless, after a, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Right, and that's why it is important to have a father in your life. It is important to, you know, and and, and, and you pose to honor and reverence your father, man. You, you shouldn't just call your father when you need something. You you, you shouldn't just, you know, uh, and and that's the spirit of a nigga, man. You know, that's the spirit of a nigga. You know the way you treat, you treat your father and your mother, that says a lot about you, man. You know, and the Lord sees that shit. And he don't like that shit. You know, and, 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 and the Lord kill your ass behind disrespecting your 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 your, your, your uh, parents. You know. So let me grab this. Um, let me grab this. I know it's not probably not gonna be it. Mm. It says Proverbs 3 verse 12 For whom Yahweh loveth he correcteth Even as a father the son in whom he delighteth Right Okay uh, Let me see if I can find this other one So lucky there I mean, If I can't find it You know what I'm thinking about You know you brothers put in the comment board um, Yeah that's not it Oh, here we go. Proverbs 29, verse 15. The rod of, of reproof give wisdom, but a child left to himself bringeth, bringeth his mother to shame. And that's what you see in this world. A lot of niggas, you know, they be on the news for doing some evil, demonic shit, killing somebody or something. You know, the mother got to go on the news and say, oh, I, I never thought my son would do something like that. You know, you bring, you, you bring shame upon the family. Well, you have school shooters and shit, man. So correction... And, and, and chastisement and reproof is, is, is beneficial. It bringeth wisdom, you know. But 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 anytime, if anytime you get corrected, you try to justify yourself or uh, 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 hide your offenses, you know, it, it, then you cannot grow, man. You know. So what the elder was going into, man, was beautiful because it made me think about my father. Like, oh, yeah, I had a father. My, well, I have a father, you know. But when I was growing up, you know, he would um shit. Hey, my father now. If, if, if I was going to my father now and say some stupid shit, he'll punch me in my shit, man. He'll punch me in my shit. I could never ever disrespect my father. Same thing with Yahweh Shah. You don't want to ever disrespect Yahweh Shah. You know, our Heavenly Father. Because the Lord will spiritually punch you in your shit too. It's not take you off, take off the earth. You know, so, so, so it's why it's important, you know, to understand that the dynamic, you know, that the Lord has set before us, man. You know, understand that the power structure the Lord has set before us. You got many people that are disobedient, man. Just plainly disobedient you know you know how you know how you, how you grew up and you know if your father you, you, you know jake know that 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 the mother gonna say no or their father might say no so they'll go to the mother they'll go to the father you know to get a different answer hey man <laughs> and the lord the lord sees all things man you know and the lord is just you know and, and you, you you can't try to escape that corruption or that chastisement you know it's not beneficial for you okay uh, or Proverbs 23 verse 13 Withhold not correction from the child For if he for If thou beatest him with the rod He shall not die Right so you don't want to hold co correction From your child man You got to correct your child You got to correct your son Make sure that they right Make sure they ain't the spirit But make sure that that, 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 that that they ain't been niggas You know walk around here Doing what they want to do Because you see these These little these little GMO babies That don't have fathers in their life man You know it's a nigga out there A little nigga out there right now That's rapping about Doing a dash on the cops and popping thoughts, and this nigga like four years, four, five, six years old, man. 
You know, but that shows you he ain't have a father in his life. He, he, he got his mother somewhere endorsing that shit. You know, she could, because she she trying to, to get a check. But that's going to bring destruction unto, unto that child, man. You know? All, that, all that's going to do is bring destruction and death unto that child. Motherfucker going to be in prison before he's fucking 15, man. If this place was going longer. Okay? So it's the way it's important to understand the dynamic between a father and a son. And as, as we grow on this thing, you know, we, 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 we may even be, become fathers to sons. And it's important to know, you know, understand, know and understand how to go about that, man. You know, how to deal with that, man. Now, I want to make sure that, you know, as a man, that my that, 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 that my son ain't lacking in nothing. Not only in food and clothes and, 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 and shelter, but also, you know, discipline, correction, you know, wisdom. Uh, um, you know, from teaching him uh, honor, you know, integrity. Things that you, that you can't teach a grown man. You, know, you can't teach a grown man honor, you know, uh, 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 integrity, you know. Um, certain things you can't teach a grown man, which was supposed to be taught when you, when you, when you, when you was a child. So with that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame Shirola, Baba, 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 Prisons, Dad, Ivan, Tukul, Tukul, Shalom. Salatia, I just want to add a little more to this topic before I, uh, before I call it quits. We may do this little topic for, for a while. I know it's a little loud, I'm sad plantation, so bear with me. But, uh, hey, the scripture says strike, you know, what I don't say that, but that's what, that's what, that's what we know you got to strike the iron while it's hot. Before I get off my mind, I want to go on to, you know, to just, just one more point. All right. Um, this is Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And that's why it's important to have, you know, to, to, to get that correction, you know, a, 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 as a young man. You know, so you, you don't grow up and be a damn evil old man, you know. That, 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 that's why that's important. You know, and, 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 I'll, and I'll start thinking about, about about my father and the correction that he have showed unto us. You know, growing up, it was one time where we got our ass beat, bro. We got our ass because my, my 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 cousin came over. He had a moped. My mom had just came home with some groceries. So you know, your mom from home, and you got to put them damn groceries away. Well, we was too busy riding around on the moped, and the groceries were sitting in the car for like hours, going bad, man. You know, we just spent money. You know, <laughs> um, some money on them damn groceries. My mom said, "I'm gonna tell y'all y'all father." Man, she told off my, my my father when he came home. We was playing sleep like everything. We, we forgot all about it. All things was all sweet and all things was cool. We were, we were in the room playing sleep. He came in the room. He said, "Get your ass up!" He <laughs> got got us up, man. You know, he was snapping. He was so fucking upset. And he literally that night, bro. We literally got our ass whooped the whole night, bro. I got my ass beat all night long. Okay, my bent over. You, 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 we had to. You get on your knees and sit by the couch and you just, you know, stitch a cord, going on your ass all night. And I remember, I vividly, I vividly remember where it was, I knew it was all night because the next day, you know, the next day or whatever, I saw, um, the next day or whatever, I saw the, uh, the kids that I went to school with going to school. You know, I'm getting my ass whooped and, and I, look, I, look, I look to my right and, and right there was a door and there was a window, you know, right there next to the door. You know, like the, the, the window, the long window on the side of the door. And I saw the kids that I went to school with going to school. It was daytime. So I literally got my ass beat all night. We was taking turns all night because we, we disrespected my father, well, my mother and, 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 and my father. Me and my sister, we got our ass beat, man. But but, but, but that taught me a certain level of discipline, you know, a certain, le a certain level uh, of respect and honor and reverence, you know, not just to, to my father, but really to all men, you know. You you, you you gotta show respect. I mean, you can't just be, just be some nigga. I mean, if somebody don't benefit you, if, if they can't do nothing for you, you gonna treat them like shit. Or you you act, act like they don't exist. Nah, man. You know, and that's just a part of being a man. But yeah, you know that particular situation. It, 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 I learned I learned from that. You know, it, it wasn't something I was bitter about. I'm crying about it. Years later, oh my dad, with my ass so bad one time. No, I'm grateful for that actually thing because it made me a better man. You know. So you got to train up a child in the way that he should go, and he's older, he will not depart from it, man. And like I said, hey, my, my, my father was in the streets, man. It was one time when my father got shot five times in, in, in the damn stomach, and he survived. Okay, he got shot five times in the stomach, and he survived, man. So, hey, hey when you come in, in, into this world, especially if you're a man, hey, there, there's, there's a lot that comes with being a man. Okay, this ain't, ain't going to be no easy walk, but you got to grit up your loins like a man and be a man. You know, live honorable and peacefully among all men. You know, do things according to the spirit, not according to your emotions, according to how you feel. 
You know, just, just, just because you may feel jaded or whatever, you know, that 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 that, 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 that shouldn't make you a whole different person, man. You know? And these are things that we gotta understand in this walk, man. You know, if we want Yahweh Shema Shadow to deal with us as sons, we're gonna have to come on that vibration, man. Hey, hey, and Yahweh Shilish, hey, and, 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 and I'm from the tribe of Judah, man. Okay? My, 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 my father w w w was a very austere man from the tribe of Judah. You know, so imagine the heavenly father, man. You know, plays no fucking games, man. No games. All right? No games. And, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, I just want to touch on because, hey, man, let's bring this back. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. So you got to train up your child in a way that's going to be beneficial for your child, man. People tell you nowadays, you're not supposed to whoop your kids, don't beat your kids. You crazy as hell, you better tear their ass up, or, 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 or the, the, the damn authorities going to do it. The, 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 the cops going to get a hold of a nigga and shoot a nigga. You know, you got parents, grandparents burying uh, their grandchildren, man. That, that, that's ridiculous, but that's because of what? Lack of order and structure. You know, um, lack of discipline. Lack of, uh, of uh, a, a, a father figures, man. That's why Esau took the father out of the house. You know, they told you, oh yeah, if you want to get these type of benefits, father got to be out of the house. How, how, that's why they, 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 they quickly lock the Israelite man up to take you away from your children and your kids, uh, I mean, your wife. You know, because that, that, that's the head of the household. The, the man is the head of the household, man. All right, it's a very important uh, part of being a, a, a man is leading and, and, and having structure in your household. You got a jake nowadays that, you know, they in the streets they want to be big bad tough guys you know they're so hot and, and tough and you know so, uh, uh, such a man on the street when it comes to, to, to other men but then when they when they get around their women they they they, they fucking marshmallows man they fucking kittens you know all soft and weak and shit or they get around their children man hell no nah, man you gotta hey 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 order and structure is very important man all right i'm gonna touch on that man First, this is Ed Fonsu for Lex. Shalom, I'm coming. Shirala, a power ball. Oh, oh, let me go another one. Power Rapes chapter 22, verse 15. There's a lot on this, uh, on this topic that I, that's why I had to come back. Power Rapes 22, and verse 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart or mind of a child. So, when you, you're a child, you're bound to be foolish. Okay, you're bound to do foolish things, say foolish things. Uh, 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 act foolishly. Yeah, hey, because you're a child. You don't know no better, right? It says, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. So, can you threaten your child? Whooping that ass? Taking out that belt? You know, my uncle, he had an actual stick in his house. The damn stick. They, they, it, 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 it was a damn beating nigga stick, I guess. But he was, you know, he had sons. So, he had to let their ass know. They had a name for it and shit. I, I don't know about that, but, you know, he had a stick in the house. But that, that was the rod of correction. That shall drive it far from him. And, 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 and we turned out pretty good, man. I ain't never been to prison. I ain't never killed nobody. You know, I ain't never did, done no crazy ass shit, man. You know, because of that rod of correction. And it, draw, it drives foolishness far from you. Makes you consider things instead of just, you know, reacting off of your emotions, you know, of, of, of how you may feel. You know, it makes you deal with things logically, you know. Um, yeah, so these are important things, man, for, for, for this walk. Important things to understand. Okay. Let's see if I can get any more on that. Mm. This Proverbs 22 verse 4. By humility and the fear of Yahweh are riches and honor and life. Right. And you got Jake, man. Jake don't understand uh the difference between pride and proud okay now you know you you got this society where they, where they just very proud you know they got pride you know you can't tell them nothing versus you know if you have a son imagine you have a son and he you know he he score a touchdown or something you know then you're gonna be proud of him or or or, 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 or he do something good you're gonna be proud of him you know so, let me go into the word proud real quick I saw something so I, so I just want to bring out edification on this real quick too about proud. I, I was kind of going. Here we go. Proud. It says proud. It says the feel, feeling pleasure or satisfaction over something regarded as highly honorable 
or credible to oneself, right? Because you got a son, and he does something, you know, uh, righteous, you know, you know, you know, something, you know, um, uh, uh, magnificent or, you know, good. Then, then you're gonna be proud of your son. Okay, that's not an evil thing to be proud of your son. It's not an evil thing, you know, when 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 when, when you want to feel proud about something that you did, you know, you do a certain accomplishment, you know. To, to help your family or or whatever, man. You know that's a, that's, that's something to, to be to, to be proud of. You know it's, it's, not, it's not pride. It's not oh yeah you can't tell me nothing. Oh yeah I'm proud. No it's a difference, man. You know you got you, you, you can't just take words, face value, and just run with them and make base opinions off of them because of what you think you know. You know it says as highly honorable or credible to oneself and that's one thing too that there, 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 there's a lot of lack in israel of um uh, uh, uh credibility you know giving men credit where it's due okay that, that that shows your character and also um 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 uh, um honor you know being honorable that's another thing too being honorable don't just be no fucking nigga bro don't, don't, don't just be some 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 fucking backbiting you know yet uh uh damn yuck mouth you know demonic spirit ass nigga man Often followed by of an infinitive or a clause. It says having proceed having proceeding form or showing a high opinion of one's own dignity, importance, and security. Now that's what it means to be pride, uh, 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 to have pride. It says having or showing self-respect or self-esteem. You know. It says highly gratifying to the feelings or self-esteem. It says this is another one great one it's just highly honorable or credible you know so that, that, that that's something to be proud about too you know something that's highly honorable or credible you know like like if you win a a, 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 a damn a, a medal or something that's something that you're gonna be proud about hey I, I worked hard I put in the work you know and, and, and I gained this you know like like I always imagine you know you, you know you, you see the father at the soccer field or the baseball field or or or, or, or or the basketball court with their son, and their son may do a layup on somebody or something. Else. That's my son. That's my son. You know, you proud. Same thing with your whole You outside the Lord. Hey, he's proud of his elect. He see us doing this work. He said, "Okay, okay, I'll praise you." You know, hey, hey, hey. Then that's a beautiful thing. It says, um, full of vigor and spirit. You know, a proud young stallion got to be full of vigor and spirit. You know, the right spirit, the Holy Spirit. That's something to be proud of, you know. But I just want to touch on that real quick, man. Praise the Edifice of the Lord. Shalom. I promise you, I love you. Look at this. It says to be a source of pride or credit to a person. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 so there's there's a balance in all things, man. There's two sides to every point. All right. Uh, 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 uh understand balance. The scripture says, uh, unjust balance is an abomination to Yahweh. Shalom. I promise you, I love you.